All right, guys, it's been a while. Uh, been pretty busy with work and everything. But I wanted to give you guys the final build of the PA-17T. And uh, this is kind of the tandem setup. I think the last time I showed you the Solo. But uh, let's hop into everything I've done here. Um, obviously, you got the nav lights, trolling motor, marine mat, all that stuff we've been over. Um, I'll add another one of those that I have laying in the garage. So you, you can see we have two rod holders, one there, one there behind the seat, and they angle up so that uh, when you're rigging or trying to get a fish off, you can just set your rod there easily. And I'll have another one of these somewhere up here for this this uh, front user, or maybe like right here. Um, when I'm in the solo position, I put the knob on the solo uh, seating handle. Um, this is not used when you're in tandem. You got two Mirage Drive 180s. I do plan on upgrading those to kickup fins and doing the whole spline replacement and everything like that for both drives um, when those parts become available. We got an anchor trolley on the side and maybe eventually get a, a the heavy duty um, anchor wizard, not the low profile one, but the big metal one. Um, but for right now, I used it with my super stick, which uh, I've had for probably three years now. And let me show you something really cool about this super stick. I used the power pole micro anchor in the back with the power pole spike, um, mainly because this thing is nine feet long and I can put it through those uh, rings right there. So this is the nine foot three quarter three quarter inch super stick you can see it's really tall um but what this also doubles as is my paddle so the old wooden paddles i had on here just to be legal are gone and this thing is so versatile I'm lay it down and this is super stick and you can find them at the super um and that company has actually reached out to me Thanks to you guys actually giving them a link to my video, one of you guys. Um, um, they hooked me up with a shirt and this paddle right here. Now, this thing has a sleeve on the inside of it. I think it works with a couple different uh, models of their spikes. And what you got to do is you just remove that little screw right there and take the metal um, tip they had that is like a quick connect. And there's a plastic sleeve on the inside to work with the three quarter inch and you just shove that thing down in there and it comes off super easily it's hard to do like this but see as you guys can see removes super easily and it floats and you just shove it down on there now you've got a paddle that you can stand up and paddle you can use this as a push pole i i like to put this in down as you guys can see it's pretty pretty worn for three years and dirty and everything because i use that to push pull and that keeps it from like really digging down in the mud um and then you can use the end on this end the spike end um for running it through those holes on the anchor trolley or scupper hole or whatever and anchoring as a second anchoring point because i have the power pole micro in the back this will also, once you remove the metal tip like I have, will work with the power pole micro because it's the same diameter. It's three quarter inch. So if you guys are interested, I think it's around $70 ish. It's definitely under a hundred bucks. So it's cheaper than some other ones out there. And uh, it's pretty sturdy. Like I said, I've had it for three years and this thing is perfect for this PA 17 T because it doubles as my paddle. It doubles as a push pole and it doubles as a anchor pin. So super cool product, good price on them. And like I said, I've talked to the owner and just a great company, great guy. And uh, if you're interested, again, it's super stick, the super stick.com. You can also find them on Amazon, um, but Amazon is a little backed up right now at the moment with the whole coronavirus thing going on. So uh, shipping would probably be faster to get it through through them. 
But anyway, back to the PA-17T. We've got a full boat net right here with the rubber mesh. Um, one thing is that is new that I did install is this wireless five switch um, yak power system. So we got that there. I can click it once and click it again. See, now we're on. All the lights have lit up. One is my fish finder. That's why it's red. And then we have the bow lights and stern light. I don't know if you can really tell, but it is glowing. And that's the Yak Power um, safety flag and light. And that basically you just drill a hole, run that down, and you leave that base there. And it's super, super convenient to remove and replace and put everything away into that flag. The flag is a bag for the entire setup. And that's just an SAE plug that runs all the way up here to the front hatch. I'll show you that in a minute. And it connects with the rest of the stuff. So we've got Yak Power bow lights. We've got Yak Power flag and the, the five switch Yak Power wireless system. Now, because as you can see, it's just on a little stick on GoPro mount right there um, that I had laying around. So when I'm in solo, that's what that one's for. You can see right there, I just moved that wireless remote right there and it's in the same spot as when I'm sitting in the back or when I'm sitting in the middle. So, it works really good like that. Um, you don't have to drill any holes in your boat. It's completely wireless. Um, you can put it on a key fob, you can put it on a track system. And then I have my fish finder just ran into a plug right there because power wire on those are um, a little short. And this gives me more length on this side of the boat and not in the hole. So I can slide that whole fish finder up to the middle for when I'm out solo. Really versatile system with the Yak Power. Um, with all those plugs and switch systems and everything. Very cool. Let me show you that up front. Um, the PA-17T front hatch is very shallow. So basically I just have this bucket in here with the yak power uh switch system in it so it's out of the water if you did get water in the boat um this hatch actually has a melted down bucket and as you can see there's the trolling motor remote and power pole remote and then the rear one is also a melted down bucket and there's the old uh bungee strap for the back battery that i need to fix and let's get to that back battery. Uh, and you see I got the power pole micro anchor adapter. And here's a closer look at that flag. And that thing just pops out like that. And this just slides right off. And then you have your little, your little plug there. So to put it on, you just do that. Slide that, line the hole up. And drop it in. And now you have a full-on flag and light from Yak Power. Okay, so here I made an adapter. This is where the trolling motor battery plugs in right there that runs the trolling motor on the front that is not installed right now. But when I'm not running the trolling motor, I still want to use that whole power system because I'm not going to bring a battery for the electrical stuff and a separate battery for the trolling motor. So I have this Yak Power battery box that I've had for a while. Put the SAE adapter to the trolling motor adapter on there. So this can just tap right into everything. So when I'm not bringing the trolling motor, everything runs right off of this. And this has uh, three of the you know lead, it, uh, lead acid fishing batteries, uh, fish finder batteries. Um, and it works great with that. And you get a USB plug right there. Um, I have a big deep cycle battery with the, uh, Minn Kota battery box that also plugs in right there. I can remove that, put the deep cycle battery on the back when I'm running the trolling motor and that will run everything, fish finder lights and trolling motor. So that is pretty convenient. And the bungee that you saw in that bin right there goes from here and straps across to there and kind of keeps this battery in place. 
and there's the uh, rod holder. Right now we have a Garmin Striker 7DV. It's pretty old. Probably gonna move that to a new boat because um, I sold the Outback. We kept the kick-up fins for my wife's compass. And then uh, we gave her old 180 drive. Well, it was, an, it was an ARC 180 drive, so it wasn't really old. But um, with turbo fins, we gave that with the 2020 Outback that I sold. She got a slight upgrade. With the upgrade, we probably broke even. So on the whole 2020 Outback, um, just all things considered, when we what we sold it for minus you know what it would cost us in parts to upgrade her drive. So um, it was the best we could do. I just decided that I'm not going to use that Outback as much as I thought I would because I just fell in love with using this thing on bigger waters. And I, I wanted to get a smaller kayak for um for smaller waters like rivers and ponds and stuff and just for quick trips with something super light but there you go oh and there's the front nav lights that you guys have seen but yeah that is the pa 17t um not completely rigged up but you know i kind of explained everything that and where it goes um this will probably change in the future a couple more accessories are gonna i've got ideas for maybe some lights um for night fishing and stuff but that is the state of her right now and this is just a 17 foot bass boat trailer and it works perfectly with the unistrut and and conduit pipe in case you're wondering on that and uh we store it under a tarp outside now because it's the trailer with the boat on it is just too long to uh store in the garage it's always in the way but the tarp with these uh cinder blocks on it has been doing just fine anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um it's a very long video i'm sorry for rambling but it's been a while since i've uh, made a video and talked to you guys hopefully you enjoyed and i uh, will see you guys in the next one